Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Binding of Isaac as Isaac. We'll give this a go. It's gonna go better than last time. Probably. Okay, these are the little guys. I don't think they charge at you, they just kinda jump around a little bit. Kinda silly. Kinda silly little guys. Little happy poops. Hey, starting the game off with three bombs, that is always cool. I could have sworn you start the game off with one bomb and one key. Piggy bank. Okay, uh, as in like the previous videos, we're gonna have to go look up that item. The piggy bank. This is gonna be good for people who don't know the game as religiously as uh, some people do. Because I, I don't, I don't know any of the items, so. Uh, okay, effects adds three coins on pickup. When Isaac takes damage, one or two coins will drop. Unlike the coins being dropped by being hit from a shot from a Keeper Greed or Super Greed, the coins that are dropped from the piggy bank are not subtracted from Isaac's total. So basically, every time we get hit, we gain health. And I bet we could use this to our advantage, like, at a blood bank. You just take a half point of damage. And get a bunch of money. So if we find spare health, or we find- a blood bank would be superb. May your future become balanced. Justice. I've gotta look it up. Um... Was it called Justice? called, uh, VII. Huh. I'm not finding it. Finding of Isaac. Justice. Justice. Okay, spawns one random type of bomb drop, key drop, coin drop, and heart drop. Okay. Well, I think we should just use it then. Sweet. See, one of these days I might actually have all that crap memorized. Still haven't taken any damage, and we've got four bombs, one key. No secret room has been discovered. I know the secret room cannot be to the left of the boss room. Let's, uh, well, that'll take up a spirit heart if we go in there now. Um, I think there's a secret room... ...here. Yes, I love when I'm right. That makes me so happy. Unfortunately, the battery is... ...kind of useless. But... It ...means we can spend a bomb... ...get into the shop, instead of... A key, and we have an abundance of bombs. We have the donation box, give some money away. Um, what is this thing? 15 cents for, like, bombs? Looks like bombs. Now, if I go through this room, does the... Yeah, the key's just gone, okay. Well, um... I don't know if I want to lose the spirit heart. Let's just, let's just go to the next floor. Monstro it is. Getting pretty used to this monstro fight. I can see why Northern Lion's getting pretty good at the game. I know I'm a little- I, I only talk about Northern Lion. That's because he's like the only guy that I know who plays the game. Apparently there's a bunch of other people like Jeff Major. Oh shoot, almost got hit there. Um, but like if you've played each boss like 50 times, you'd probably know what to expect from him and it wouldn't be that hard to avoid him. I mean, it'd be like playing The Legend of Zelda every day for three years. Oh man, he jumped right on me. Oh hey, even when we lose spirit hearts we gain coins. That's kind of cool. I thought it was just red hearts. So misread it. Like, I remember I played The Legend of Zelda on Super Nintendo so many times. And I knew where, like, everything was. I knew where every item was, I knew how to get every everything, I knew... You know, I know the exact order to do the game in. Never got lost, never had no idea where to go. Evil up, plus range, plus shot speed up. Cool. Alright, I like it. 
Evil up's cool. It's fine. I don't mind black hearts. Black hearts are cool. They're all the rage. He peed his pants when offering a flower to a girl. It's really sad. Okay, um... We just gun down the big fatty? Yes, we can. Never fear. No fear. Just face him down. How come one of them spawned a little body and the other one didn't? Looks like right there. Aha, see I'm starting to learn the shot angles. Shoot. It's all about momentum, man. We have one key, do we want to use it on the gold room? I think we do. It is a... Friends till the end, Sister Maggie. Okay. Um, in, in, tr in keeping with what I've been doing, I think I'm gonna go look up some information about Sister Maggie, just so that I can know more information about the game. Alright, so let's go look her up. Um, we need to search... The wiki. We're looking for Sister Maggie. Sister Maggie is a familiar that will follow Isaac and shoot tears. These tears have no particular effect, though they appear red. So it's just extra shots. So... That's interesting. I mean, it's not like, um, increasing your shot speed. It's just more, more firepower. But it's also another sprite on the map to confuse you. But, she also fires from different spots, so perhaps she, uh, maybe help us hit stuff that, wouldn't we no that we wouldn't normally hit. Hey, a pill. Cool, I like pills. It is paralysis. Okay. Got him down, get him. We only have one bomb, but I think I'm going to blow up that rock anyway. Because sometimes you got to risk it all. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need no bombs. We've survived before without having bombs. Got an extra key. Okay, these guys are moving a little... Ah! Moving a little quicker than I'd like. Come on out of there. Shoot. Well, at least we get money back for it. Alright, let's go check out the rest of the floor before we commit to the boss room. We have two keys. It's not bad. There's totally a secret room below us right there. Pretty sure. We have two keys, and that is a shop. I don't want to go in there, because I have 13 cents. I could trade some health. Challenge room can't go in there. Let's go ahead and go through here. Pick up two black hearts. I think it's going to drop the coins in this room. Shoot. Sh ah, damn it. I meant to go through the door. Whatever. Now we have 18 cents. I guess now, now we'll go in the shop. How messy is that, huh? We got a spirit heart for three cents. Okay, sure, that's a good deal. I mean, we got like a map. I'm gonna keep the 15 cents just because I might want to do some gambling or something. We're still on like, what, floor two, I think? We have no bombs, so we can't try to find the secret room. But I think I know where it was. I think it was that room right above the curse room. Or the, that room that you pay health. Okay, so, um, that guy looks different than normal. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bad, 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 bad. Bad pathing. Yeah, he is different. He spit out little guys. Take care of those little guys first. Keep the map kind of simple. Oh, 
Oh, if you shoot him in the middle, it creates little guys. I didn't know that. Okay, what do we end up with? We got a box of stuff. Sweet. Alright, uh, we got a pill. Pill is pretty fly. What's up with my character's, like, box? Is it, I'm wearing, like, a box. Okay, we got a... Oh, okay, the fool? The fool. I think I've used this before. Showing up in this thing. What am I looking for here? It's not in the right spot. Hmm. Alright, well, let's not worry about that item. <laughs> I think it's a teleportation item. Luck of the draw, Ace of Spades. Now, that one I do want to look up. Ace of Spades. Increases the chance of tarot cards or playing cards dropping after clearing a room. Increases the chance of finding cards when opening a chest. Increases the chance of finding cards from fortune-telling machines. This is a trinket. It's not an actual tarot card that we can use. Okay. Got a bunch of hearts here. I really... Okay, I need to know what the fool does. Teleports player to the starting room of the current level, even if you use the room in the starting room. This, timpa this card has little use, but it can teleport you out of inescapable rooms like the challenge room and the mom boss fight. Okay, um, so it's not that great, basically, is what you're saying. Okay, um, two hearts for... okay, there's that's like Guppy's, Guppy's something. Range up. Telepills. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Wait a second. I'm confused. Why does it feel like the whole like the whole thing is? Oh shoot! You can't go back in there. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Um, I meant to stay in there. Crap! I didn't know you couldn't go back into that room. Should have known better. Oh well. I would have probably done one of those traits. I don't know what that little black cross was, but... Man. So much about this game I just don't know. Alright, I don't like you guys. Come on. Okay, um, yep. So unless I'm losing my mind, this is still the run where we've got the, uh, the piggy bank or whatever. So we're gaining money every time we get hit. Still want to find a blood bank, because that'd be awesome. We could trade our health for tons of money. Maybe even unlock Kane if we got 45, 45 coins. I don't want to pay a black heart. Oh, almost just walked on the spikes. Um, yeah, I don't want to go through there, there right now either. We can always come back to it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well they, uh, they shot me pretty quick. I need damage. Damage is not very good right now. Okay, do we need the heart? No, we don't need the heart. We don't have any bombs anyway. Okay, I like these guys a lot better when they shoot straight shots. It's the this is the three-way shot that I don't like. Four keys. Bomb flies. 
Crap. Blow them up while they're far away. Get them. All right, we'll definitely spend a key to go to the gold room. We ended up with a pair of uh, the pinking shears. Okay, on to the next item to look up. <laughs> the pinking shears. Pinking shears is an activated item. It separates Isaac's head and body for the current room. Isaac's head which now has flight, will be under the player's control while his body will seek out enemies to attack by contact damage. The speed and damage of the body familiar are independent of Isaac's stats. Its damage is among the highest of all familiars. If used multiple times on the same room, via battery pickups for example, more instances of the body familiar can be spawned. Okay. Interesting. So we can fly. We can use this thing to fly. Oh, damn you. Stupid log shot at me. Well, we have three bombs, and I think there could be a secret room here. And I was wrong. That is a shop. We have three keys. We have 21. Let's go in there. Hmm. That is a big battery. But we already have an activatable item. I think we just skip. I mean, we can always come back if we need one of those things. Shoot! Oh, there goes all the black hearts. More black hearts are missing. Seem to have picked up a fly at some point. I'm gonna use this act. Ah, shoot! Don't, don't blow him up when he gets really close to me. Okay. Um. Generally, probably a bad idea to go down these long paths that have no escape. We'll use the thing in the boss room just because it'll be fun. You're red, so you're going to give me a heart, right? Aha. Yeah, we got another half heart. Okay, um... Okay, we're gonna use the item here, even though Peep's not that hard. I just I wanna try it out. Our body's just gonna go stand on him. And kick his butt. I mean, holy crap. Holy crap, is that thing strong. Speed plus shot speed up. That is a really cool effect. Really cool familiar. And we get to fly. I love it. Well, there's all kinds of hearts everywhere, so let's go and check out the, uh, I know it's a long ways away, but I want to go check out that, that room. Big troll bomb, two spirit hearts. Seems like it was worth it. Net gain. We do have three bombs. I already checked that room for a secret room. Um, I don't think I checked this one, though. Yay! And we're rewarded with more bombs. No other room that I want to get into. Don't need that half heart. There's plenty of health this way. We have 31, 31 things. Hmm. What is, what is the thing that that I've seen Northern Lion use that allows him to, like, re-roll items. He calls it the D6. Is that something you get later on after you've beat the game a few times or something? Or is that a mod, or what? I just don't know what it- I don't know what it is. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. That's good. That's good. Getting further into the game. Feel pretty good. I think we could beat almost anybody if I- if I used the, uh... Pinking shears. An arcade, that's pretty good for our uh, current amount of money. 
I'm just gonna shoot a lot and keep moving and hope that these guys die. Crap. Alright, let's go check out the arcade. Maybe we'll get a blood bank. Okay, cool. Um... Well, yeah, I think we play this. Oh, did the blood bank... It didn't trigger it. Yes, it did. We'll go down to this much. We'll keep the 45, because I want to see if we can unlock Kane. I like these guys. I like how they just run away from you. <laughs> the enemies that run away are my favorite. Let's get rid of them. Make them, make them stay away from me. I don't want to fight them. not good. We had an abundance of health before, but not so much anymore. Um, wait, what was that red room? Oh, it's open to us now. That's scary, kind of scary. Think we can do it? Let's let's get the let's get two more rooms cleared, and then if we still have no health, I'll go in there and I'll use the shearing pinking shears. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. Yeah, game over. Crap! Damn it! No! Those things are terrifying. And ugly. Damn, well I had 48 coins. Should have just donated them all. What does it take to actually unlock Kane? How close were we? 55. Damn, I was only like 10 pennies shy. Well, oh well. I feel like I'm getting better. I'm learning more. I like looking up items, because it helps me to, to know what the hell's happening. <laughs> and what things do. And, uh, yeah. Eventually this win streak will not be negative. So thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.